Ryan? All right, thank you, Ross. He is one of the most sought-after conservative political commentators in Washington, and he'll be in Richmond at the beginning of February. Bill Kristol will be the keynote speaker at the Central Virginia Lincoln Reagan Day dinner. The editor of the Weekly Standard joins me live now via Skype to talk politics. Thank you for being here, Bill. We appreciate it. And good to be with you, Ryan. Now, I'm, I'm sure you've heard the news that George Allen is running once again for the Senate seat that he lost in 2006. He's facing some early conservative criticism about his record in the Senate. As a conservative yourself, do you think that's fair criticism, or do you think he deserves to be reelected? Uh, you know what? I think it's a, it's a... I wrote an editorial this week on the presidential race in which I said, let's not try to anoint anyone early. Let people compete. Let them make their cases. Uh, let everyone have a, uh, an open field and a fair chance at the nomination. I respect George Allen. I know George Allen. I think he was a heck of a good governor of this state. Um, uh, but I, you know, no one should anoint him. Uh, other people are free to run against him. They're free to challenge different votes he's cast or different things he did as governor. I think it'll be healthy to have some good competition. Having said that, I, I have a high regard for George, and, and I, you know, he certainly would be the front runner at this point. But as we've seen in the last year, front runners sometimes lose. I saw a lot of the reaction on the internet as soon as it came out again, and it seems like the word macaca came over and over again on the different internet streams. Do you think he's going to be able to overcome this perception from the 2006 campaign? Yes. Look, he almost won in 2006, even with that uh, gaffe or that media manufactured gaffe or whatever one wants to call it. Uh, the key will be what he has to say about the current issues facing the nation. If George tries to run as a guy who was a good governor, what, 15 years ago now, or a good senator six years ago, eight years ago, I don't think people are really in the market for that. People want to know, what are you going to do in the United States Senate to reduce the deficit, to keep the country strong, to advance uh, the things the Republicans and conservatives believe in across the board, big fundamental reforms in the U.S. government and the like. If he has an interesting, uh, lively conservatives reform agenda, I think people will be happy probably to give him the nomination and happy to elect him. If he seems to be just running on the fact that, hey, I was governor, I was senator, I think voters might say, hey, you know what, we, we, it's time for a fresh look. So a lot depends on how George Allen chooses to run the campaign, I think. Now, tomorrow night, of course, the State of the Union. It seems as though the president has moved somewhat to the middle. Do you think the new Republican House majority and our local congressman, Eric Cantor, need to find ways to work with this president? I think they should work with him when he makes concessions to Republicans, to conservative ideas. If he wants to cut spending, let's take his cuts and then let's, let's go for bigger cuts. We, obviously, Republicans are going to have to compromise on some things. But I think there's still a pretty big fundamental difference between the two parties. And I would recommend to people, leave aside all the theatrics, read or watch, but really read the text of President Obama's speech. See what he proposes to do about spending and about how government's structured. And then let's watch Paul Ryan's rebuttal and read the text of his rebuttal. It won't be as grand as the president. He won't have the entire chambers of uh, the uh, members of the House and the Senate sitting before him. But I think there's a pretty big difference between the two parties in the extent to which they're willing to cut domestic spending and the extent to which they're willing to reform the federal government. Um, and I think that'll become pretty clear over the course of the next year, as there are many debates on budget and spending issues, among others. All right. Thank you very much, Bill. We appreciate you being here. And don't forget that you can see Bill Crystal at the Central Virginia Lincoln Reagan Day Dinner, which is Saturday, February 5th at the Richmond Marriott. If you'd like more information, you can go to LincolnReaganDayDinner.com.